Good morning, wrestling fans. July 31st, 2024. It's Wednesday. You know what that means. Time to talk about AEW Dynamite tonight. Live 8 p.m. Eastern on TBS. One week after Blood and Guts. I am Lance Brock. Welcome, everyone, to the Wednesday episode of 360 Good Morning Wrestling Fans. Hoping everyone is having an amazing Wednesday morning so far, wherever you may be in the world. And I know I usually forget to preview this on the Wednesday morning episodes. A lot of times, but also coming up today in just a few hours at noon Eastern, WWE Speed on X. So if you are listening to this before noon, remember to log on to at WWE on X at noon eastern to watch WWE Speed I do know this is the start of a I guess you could call maybe a new season or a I guess you could call it a season maybe but since last week was the Speed Championship match Andrade El Idolo de successfully defending against Baron Corbin. So it starts over this week. I'm not sure which match will be featured today. I know Axiom from NXT will be competing in this season of Speed. Which last night NXT held night one of the Great American Bash on Sci Fi. And if I have enough time this morning, I might talk about that a little bit. But first, let's get into AEW Dynamite for tonight, July 31st. The final day of July. Live tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern on TBS. And Dynamite will be live from the, hope I say this right, Bon Secours Wellness Arena in Greenville, South Carolina. We will have the Aerial Assassin. Will Ospreay in action, taking on the murder hawk monster, Lance Archer. And there will be an appearance for from the number one contender for the AEW World Championship, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. And apparently he's going to have quite a bit to say tonight. Also, the CMLL Women's World Championship will be on the line as Willow Nightingale defends against Chris Statlander. Also... We will hear from Mariah May tonight in a sit-down interview with the remarkable Renee Paquette. And the Kilometration, sorry, I know I always say that wrong, the Ring of Honor World Champion, Mark Briscoe, freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy, Tomohiro Ishii they'll team up to take on 
the Beast, Mordos, Roderick Strong, and Roosh. And this is a first time ever singles match that will take place tonight. Hangman Adam Page versus Darby Allen. And to be honest, to me anyway, it's kind of hard to believe that it, since 2019, in the history of AEW, that Hangman Adam Page and Darby Allen have not had a singles match yet. Of course, both been with AEW from the beginning would think they would have had probably at least one singles match already but tonight is the first so that is what we have in store for us for AEW Dynamite tonight 8pm Eastern TBS and as I mentioned earlier last night was night one of NXT's The Great American Bash which aired on Sci-Fi just like Night 2 and next week's Raw once again airing on Sci-Fi as well our commentators for last night Vic Joseph and Booker T and we had the Unholy Union Alba Fire and Iva Dawn Retaining their WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. Successfully defeating the Metaphor. And Tony D'Angelo retained the NXT Heritage Cup Championship. Defeating Tavon Heights, Miles Bourne, and Wynn Sinclair. Also, we had the first time in WWE, the Joe Hendry concert, did a pretty good song and was just about to sing his famous theme song. He was interrupted by Gallus, they go in and they attack him and later on. Joe Hendry would put out a challenge for night two of the Great American Bash next week. And in the main event for the NXT Women's Championship, Roxanne Perez successfully defended against the Hail. Like I've been saying for a little bit now on the podcast... I am a big fan of Thea Hale, and but I am not a fan of the whole Chase U faction. So I'm hoping maybe with this loss, maybe they'll repackage Thea Hale and separate her from Chase U, get her out on her own. I'm not saying... Maybe not necessarily a heel turn or anything, but a character change. Maybe a more aggressive Thea Hale that is on her own, away from Chase U, more serious maybe. Because I do see a bright side in Thea Hale's future. But like I said, just the whole Chase U gimmick. I have never been a fan of just doesn't really do anything for me I know that might be an unpopular opinion and that is all for this Wednesday morning episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans remember tonight AEW Dynamite 8pm Eastern on TBS and you can go right now in the comment section And leave your thoughts and your opinions on last night's NXT Great American Bash Night 1. Either here on Spreaker, 
YouTube or wherever you listen to 360 Wrestling Podcast app. If the website or app you listen to on has a comment section. Also, I post polls on Twitter or X if you call it that now. Whichever one you call it. You can go there and vote. Usually do polls on what you thought of the show. Either thumbs up, thumbs down, or in the middle. And once again, that is all for this Wednesday episode. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Hope everyone enjoys Dynamite. We'll talk to everyone tomorrow for the Thursday episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. But until then, have a great pro wrestling day.